Sometimes when you're printing out stuff in Excel, you want to add things to the top of the page or to the bottom of the page, like this. For example, on this report, we have this note that says this monthly sales report is still in the review, and we have a form number, and down here it says last update, and it lists the date when we last updated that document. This up here, this is called a header, and this is called a footer. Now, these are separate from the page titles. Right here, this is the page title, which prints out on every page. But this text here, this prints out on every page and is not related to the page title. Okay, so how do we place these headers and footers in our documents? Well, what you need to do is go to the Page Setup menu, go to Page Layout tab, and right here it says Page Setup. And inside the page setup, we're going to open the page setup menu or the page setup drop down by clicking this little arrow and triangle here in the lower right corner. So I'm going to click that and I get this page setup menu. Then I'm going to go to the header and footer tab like Helios. And this is where I can edit the header and the footer. Now, in the simplest of cases, I simply select the header that I want right here from this list. Excel has a whole bunch of predefined header text. You know, you have page one confidential, you have the spreadsheet name, you have the worksheet name, stuff like that. But you might want to define something that's completely different from that. And you do that right here in custom header and custom footer. Obviously, this one controls your header on the top of the page. This one contains your footer on the bottom of the page. And they work exactly the same, no matter if you use one or the other. So, when I press custom header, I get this little box here, which says left section, center section, right section. These are simply the sides of the page and the center of the page. And what Excel is going to do is, depending on the size of the paper, it's going to put this on the left side, right side, and here on the center. So, you just enter the text that you want right there. See, like right here, I entered the form number. Here, I put this monthly sales report is still under review. And in the right section, I haven't placed any. Now, these buttons up here, they contain special fields, which update automatically depending on what they are. For example, right here on this first button, I can control the font characteristics for the top. For example, if I wanted this text to be red, I put format text, set it to red, and there we are. The text is now red. Now these buttons contain fields related to page numbers. So if I wanted to add a page number, I would say insert page number right here. And it types the ampersand and this page code, which means that Excel is going to replace this with the page that you're currently looking at. And then I press the second button, which says the total number of pages. When I press that, it says page of pages. And that's how I get text which is going to say page 1 of 5, page 2 of 5. Now I'm going to move to the next line. And right here we have date fields and time fields. See? The date. And if I click this other one, it's the time. Like right there. And these are fields related to the file name. So I can put right here file. And I'm going to insert the file path and it has the file name like that and I can insert the sheet name right there but since there's so much text up here I'm going to insert it down here in the footer and I'm going to type worksheet and on the next line I'm going to click right here see it says tab and it's going to replace that with the current worksheet tab and on the left, if I want, right here, in this last button, I can add a picture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on the picture. And it gives me two options. I can either load a file. For example, if I have my company logo on my computer as a file, I can browse here and add it. Or I can use Bing Image Search. I'm not too much of a friend of Bing, but it's what you get here with Microsoft Office. So let's say that I want a, um, a smiley face. Okay, so I happen to like that one, and I'm going to type insert right there. It says picture. 
And right here, if I want to, I can format the picture that I have right there. Okay, so now I'm going to click OK right there. And when I bring up my print preview, as you can see, I get a huge smiley face here because obviously that graphic I just placed is way too big for the page that I'm using. So I'm going to delete this right here. So you can see the rest of the page, you know, and the header and the footer that I placed. Okay, and here we are. Form, the form report. This monthly sales report is still in the review in red text. Page one of one. Here's the date and the time. Here's the file that I'm loading. And here's the last update and the name of the worksheet tab that I put. Now I can keep editing this footer and these headers and customize them whichever way I want to up to the point where, where I find it satisfactory. And Excel is going to print them out on every page of my worksheet. Now take note of one thing. This page setup menu applies only to the current tab. If I make a new tab like this, sheet 3, maybe put some text on there and go to the print preview menu. See it has no header and no footer. So I'm going to need to set this again to whatever I need. Now fortunately there's a little shortcut here that you can use, which is to select this one, select this one. What I did was control click. You see I clicked here, I held down the control key and I clicked there. And now both tabs are selected. So now when I edit the page setup here, it's going to apply the settings to both of these tabs. And I go to header footer, custom header. Maybe add a space and delete it, you know, so Excel knows that it's been updated right there. Same thing with the footer. With the footer. I'm going to add maybe a little text there. And now when I go to sheet 3 and I print it out, I get the same header and the same footer. So if you have a bunch of tabs that you need to add headers and footers to, just select the tab that already has them configured. Select the other tabs. And then do all the work on the header and the footer. And that setting is going to apply to all these tabs down there. And that's how you work headers and footers in Excel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and to visit our website, cubicleoverlords.com, for more instructional videos like this one.